Well, hello, YouTube. I don't really remember who it was, but I, I think I know who it was, but I have somebody say that they had a friend who was interested in possibly getting one of these Daiwa Ryoga Saltigas. This is one right here. What I'm going to do is offer you some information. Maybe this will be searched on YouTube for people who are interested in Ryogas. I'm going to just go over the simple differences that I see right away. Okay. Versus an old school Ryoga bay jigging. As you can see here, Ryoga bay jigging. Bay jiggings like this are what they refer to as the 2025 PE-SH. This is an old school Daiwa Ryoga. The new ones, brand new ones, are the black models that are out now that all the Bass Boys are on YouTube talking about all the sponsored Daiwa Bass Boys. They don't make the brand new black ones in the bay jigging version. I believe most of them are a little smaller and they don't have this ball bearing big rubbery power handle. So the first thing is this one says right on it 7.4 to 1 gear ratio. Over here on the Saltiga, for whatever reason, 7.3 to 1. Over here, on this side, you basically got a very unfancy, it makes noise, I mean it makes a ticking sound. Not a very fancy centrifugal, you know, adjustment. But over here, on this one, Pretty fancy looking. If you look right up close, I mean, it's red and it's got some serious fanciness to it. Let's see what else here. All hex head screws to take the side off. Handles are essentially the same. On this Saltiga, you get a metal handle, aluminum. I mean, wickedly ball bearing, wickedly ball bearing. On this one here, this is an old schooler, ball bearing. The next big change that I see here is the level lines. This one is a very small opening. Essentially no different, really. Got the, like, zirconium insert. This one, no insert, but why up and down longer? I don't know why. Let's see what else is the, a big deal here. On this, this is the big point. One of the big points on this reel is this one has got the Daiwa mag sealed bearing. And I believe that bearing is right in here. But right here on the drag, star drag, it has the words ATD. Let me get a pointer out. Right here. It says ATD, automatic drag system. I believe that has something to do with the startup pressure of the drag on the Daiwas. The startup pressure. When the drag goes out, that it's not jerky, let's say. And they, of course, came up with a name for it. This model of this Saltiga is a BJ200SH for bay jigging. So this is actually intended for light saltwater duty. 
this reel. Another big difference is, not big, but a difference, is if you look at them both, it's, I'm going to try to tilt this one since it's dark charcoal color, I guess you'd call it. The level wind gear here on this one is damn near twice the size of the level wind gear over here on this one. That's a big difference. That might have something to do with, but I doubt it, is over here on the side plate, the Saltiga side plate. This has a quick release feature. So when you put this on, let's see if I can do it. Oh, I got it. Gotta swing it around here. This goes right in like that, all right, and you push this lever down, and it locks it in. That's how that works. On a old school Ryoga, you put it in, and it screws on, but it has the ability to be finicky. There you go. It has to find its way on. And you would never over tighten this. This has no mag system. There's no Daiwa Z mag system on either one of these. You can get Ryogas with it, but that's not the intent for this one. Although I use this as a casting reel. On the spool, to me, it looks like these spools are 100%. They're all identical. Bearing side. But as soon as we switch over here, this one, which is from the old school Daiwa. When I got it, I got it pre-owned. And it didn't have any centrifugal weight system here. This one, I bought brand spanking new. And it came with these centrifugal weights. Now, the whole thing about these is even these reels. It doesn't matter that these aren't particularly casting reels. They're not made for that. They're made for jigging. Light, light vertical, you know, butterfly, whatever you want to call it. Slow pitch jigging. That's what these were designed for. But this one came with the little weights. This one didn't. I can cast either one literally a country mile. But what is my overall take on each one of these as a guy who owns 12 or 11, I can't really remember, Ryogas. Solid stock bar here, machined here, machined here, not machined at all. The funny thing is, is if you look at the gear cases, this one's got a blue insert in here. If you look at those, but this whole entire gear case here sticks out further. Does that, just because it's a 0.4 faster than this 0.3, I mean, is that the difference? I wouldn't, I wouldn't know. I'm not a Daiwa engineer. So this reel here, the Saltiga, is a little more compact. Tell you the truth, I don't use this very often. I don't know why. I've got these, I've got several of these, and I don't use this one that often. Maybe it's because it's so pretty. Maybe it's because I don't want it to get dirty. It's one of those type of things, but I mean, this thing is just, that mag seal, I mean, you're, you're feeling almost disconnected from the reel. When you turn the handle here, you don't feel like you're turning the handle in this hand. These reels are so unbelievably smooth. Especially this one, because this is the only one that I have that's mag sealed. But I mean, good, you feel disconnected somehow, which is cool, which is really cool. 
Now this one has been used. Oh my God, has this thing been used. And it's the same way. I feel disconnected practically. I don't know how, the, how else to use the term, but I've heard that term used before by a guy who I respect and I always watch and he doesn't do enough videos. Carl on Keeping It Real fishing on YouTube. I blame him because he's the one who got me looking at Ryogas. He bought a Ryoga. He was really in to the Daiwa whole scene. So if you're going to get a Daiwa and you want the best when it comes to a round reel, you want the best then that's the Ryoga series of reels. Now my take on these two, I'm an HD guy, heavy duty. I'm willing to give up a, a couple things for massive heavy duty. And that's what this one seems like compared to this one, the Saltiga. Now the Saltiga is prettier. It's this charcoal gray. I'm not into all that too much. I'm not really into that that much. It doesn't matter. But I feel guilty now, sort of to myself. And I'm going to put this on a rod. And I'm going to give this one a rest for a little bit. Because I bought this one brand new. I haven't used it that much. But I'm going to press it into service. And I'm going to give this one a little bit of a rest. Because these were Japanese domestic market. Yes, they did bring the Pluton. It didn't last long in the United States, North America. Boom, it was gone. Yes, it was decreased bearings. I believe it was definitely a decreased quality when they brought out the Pluton. I'm talking years, folks, years ago. The Saltiga here is still available because 90% of the time you're purchasing it from, let's say, we'd call them in America, a consignment shop. Okay, that's how you're buying these. There's still some out there. They're still available. And every year passing by, these reels keep getting older and older and older. Now, you could probably on eBay still pick up something like this for maybe 200, 225, 235. Now, I just looked not long ago, I'll say a couple weeks ago, and I saw this Saltiga. And they're still up there, man. I mean, I think they're a little, you know, way overpriced when you can pick one of these up used. But these are still in the 450, 475 category, believe it or not. Now, I bought mine many, many moons ago when I was getting a few of these. So you're gonna spend some serious cashola if you're gonna get one of these. Personally, this is a lighter weight, slower reel. They give you some jazzier stuff. They give you a jazzier handle. They give you some color accents on this knob. All right, they little cut through, little weight reduction. The whole reel seems a little more compact. This is literally less round diameter than this one. Okay, the diameters are definitely different. This is a little more of a compact reel than this one. This is like I said. There's a this is a 2025. There's other ones that are 2020s, 1016s, 1012s, and that all has to do with the PE line, I believe. Nothing that we ever talk about in North America, really. I mean, I'm not into it that big a deal. I slap on some 30 pound braid and I go for it. You know, that's that's as much as PE line that I'm, you know, doing. So this is a 
a little more compact, but I don't think you're ever going to notice the difference. But there you go. That is basically, if you're looking at these and you're wondering, really, what is the difference between the Saltiga model of this Ryoga or any of those other models? They came out some other specialty ones that were silver and purple, and they called them the Ryoga something with a K. I can't really remember exactly what it was. So they have all kinds of versions of these. Put the questions in the comments below. Don't forget to give it a like. We want to satisfy, always try for people who go through the motions and the effort to make a YouTube video. All that we ask for you is to help with the Chinese social credit score. And that's giving the thumbs up. Give it a like. That's what helps us keep wanting to make videos for you. So take care. And I'll hopefully see you on the next one.